November 1st, 2022, would be Random RS Network's 22nd anniversary. But unfortunately for Random RS, it was, it's still dead. When it launched, it's still dead. When they canceled all of their newer original series. How did they die? Seriously. How on earth did they die? What is going on? Why did Random RS Network cancel all their shows? Well, I think it's because it has something to do with with their death and their ratings. The Straxon family was canceled due to due to them revealing that nobody didn't really watch it because it was a random RS original. Yet, yeah, not even Ty Schmier Jr.'s Big Show and Ty Schmier's show spinoff, Ty Schmier, Adventures of Ty Schmier and Ty Schmier Jr. Seriously? I, um, what's going on? Why did they cancel both of them? Well, maybe it's something had to do with pedophilia from Random RS Network. Seriously, Random RS Network shouldn't be shouldn't be making newer original series anymore because because of them being 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 an adult pedophilia channel now. Oh my goodness. Then this downfall happens to be back in 2020 when Baby Shark himself joint random rs network and what else they and what else they rebranded into a new uh, into an all day long preschool channel now seriously and to make matters worse ever since random rs network rebranded the channel became abandoned the family channel became abandoned it tried to be irrelevant but now it became a big failure now Oh my freaking goodness! And and to make matters worse, ever since itself, Random RS Network became a plane on preschool autopilot, waiting until until it dies and ran out of fuel, and just became a block of syndicated syndicated animation shows and classic shows such as the Frankenstein Junior and the Impossibles. Josie and the Pussycats, My Little Pony, Friendship is Magic. Why would airing that when it when it was on Discovery Family slash the Hub Network, and then it went to um to the fictional family Ties Reveal channel, the Hasbro channel, you know the Hasbro Network channel, which was which is going to be originally be made by by Ties from Media and the toy company Hasbro, where where all the Hasbro shows would be moved straight towards to the Fam8 Hasbro Network channel. And where else? They also aired, you guessed it still, the Pink Fawn and the Baby Shark franchise music video series. And it hasn't been the same ever since Random RS Network rebranded and when the new Tyler Jr. came in October of 2020. And Ties for Jr. became a massive hit. Seriously. Every, Ties for Jr. outsmart Random RS Network. And became the top number one of preschool animated series of live action shows. Oh my goodness. Every single Random RS Network cartoon and miniseries. Which included Baby Shark's own fan made miniseries like... Baby Shark's big music video show and video game adventures were canceled, and also every single random RS network cartoon that isn't preschool friendly or content for preschoolers and family oriented genres were canceled, and future plans from random RS network were scrapped. Baby Shark moved to Tyra Jr., but first it moved online because of the music videos before. Baby Shark's TV series would, would debut in July 2021. Which again, which again, moving Baby Shark to Random RS was a bad idea. Because what they did to, to, to his music videos was abysmal. 
Weekday mornings at 7.30 a.m. was a bad idea, and oh boy, I remember how the way they treated the Pink Bomb music videos like that. And what else? They even made the GoAnimate House, which became a great success, but became a pedophilia TV series because of the, because of, because it was, because Random RS Network and Go Internet Studios and 4Kids Entertainment themselves got 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 caught in 4K on their way through production or something like that. Following that, many people unsubscribed from Random RS Network completely. And what else? Random RS Network is trying to stay irrelevant by making their two new shows as their two attempts. Distraction Family and The Adventures of Tajmer and Tajmer Jr. And yes, they're a random RS Network original. But this did not go well as Random RS Network tried to advertise Distraction Family. They tried to stay relevant, they tried to advertise it, but nobody didn't believe them. There it's just another pedophilia. TV series. Same goes to the adventures of Tyser and Tyser Jr. And yes, they sent them to another network, and this is where they ended up on Tyser Jr. and Tyser Network. Now, it's actually great that they both went to Tyser Network and Tyser Jr., er, and, and it became a critical success, but, but, it, but those two were also not successful, not even one year after their premieres. Due to the viewers still thinking they're pedophilia. A TV series now. Seriously. And Random RS Entertainment became GHX Media when when it was acquired by by Mouse Media and it be and Random Versal became GHX Media. And what else? Random RS Network itself is no longer Random RS Entertainment anymore. Now, that studio became Mouse Mall Entertainment. And future plans for the Mouse Mall 61 network were, are going to be said to be made. And uh, apparently, they're doing upcoming originals for the Mouse Mall 61 and Tajman Jr. As a matter of fact, those projects, were, those projects are going to be soon coming. And, and one new hybrid live action animated series called Baby Shark Set the Trolley's Defenders, starring starring Baby Shark and the Set the Trolley's in live action and their two D animated forms. And I was shocked to to hear. Um, we thought. This is going to be a upcoming fan made series for Tyra Jr. in Latin America, but no, it's an actual Mouse Mall 61 original. And and I and I was very confused how is this gonna go well. We already we already know we already know that it's it's we already know it's a fan made TV series and it and it doesn't even exist. But still, but still, it's still officially been made. And yes, and yes, Mount Random RS Entertainment didn't produce it. It it became Mouse Mall Entertainment. So now Mouse Mall Entertainment is now in charge of making new original series. Oh my goodness. All employees who were working at Random RS Entertainment were fired and all and all and all of their all, and all of their animation series were scrapped and were all discontinued the land down under don't worry mouse small entertainment does not support pedophilia but 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 random rs network does and thankfully the mouse small 61 now has its own animation studio and live action studio to be honest, to be honest, Random RS Network actually died when they removed all their older show, all their, all their um, 
um, shows for older kids during the during the afternoon hours to target the older audience, and they became a preschool channel all all of a sudden. And now, look where Random RS Network is now. Random RS Network that goes to Random RS Entertainment as well. When they were when they made the Go Animate House reboot, it became a huge failure. And now it's not even like the original Go Animate House. When the Go Animate House original came to be, it was launched in 2007 and it became a huge success because it was a teenage sitcom. Yes, a teenage sitcom. And that show was supposed to be for Go Animate Network in the United Kingdom and Latin America, both both in British or English and Spanish, and and I was shocked to see that 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 the original Go Animate House series was was a big hit, but not the Go Animate House reboot because because it became a preschool and a pedophilia animated series. I'm surprised that Random RS Networks is still keeping. Baby Shirt's big music video show because how dark it is because of some of some inappropriate parts which were not edited out by by Tyshford Jr. LLC because they don't have the rights to it yet. And I don't understand why they why they still don't have it. I mean, it would have been much nicer if they just give up this they if random RS never just give up give it up. For Tyra Jr., I mean, give some of that reruns of Tyra Jr. and then and then dub it, or heck, put it somewhere where nobody won't be watching it. Easy decision, and it might work very well, but they didn't. Yes, as we can see here, all the shows that Random RS Network used to air are now on the Mouse Mall 61 Network. I mean, I mean, I don't know why, I, I mean, I don't know why they're airing The Mighty Bee, which aired on Nickelodeon, and then on, and then on Taj Mahal Network, and then it later went to, to Random RS Network's spinoff channel, Randomation Click. It went channel hopping, just like Pat Man and the Ghostly Adventures and Miraculous Ladybug. What else? Do we got here? The Randomation Show? That series sadly got canceled after one season. The Randomation Show. Um, the Randomation Show was a children's anthology show. And we're and there is Midnight Club, the animated series. Uh a racing spin-off of the game. A fan made series based off of the Midnight Club Free franchise game from Rockstar. Um, where else? The Random RS. Network Breakfast Club, that block series got sadly got canceled after one season. Um, um, Mario Party the animated series wasn't doing so great either. The way Random RS Network treated Pink from Wonder Star was terrible, and the way they treated Miraculous Ladybug was stupid and was bad and ever. Um, the way they treated the way they treated the movies were terrible. And the way they treated Zack Storm, Hanazuki, and Kuku Harajuku, and where else? Regal Academy was horrifying and was very terrible. I'm surprised they aired Transformers Prime, which aired on The Hub and now on Discovery Family. It became an adult show and was mature themed, despite... Despite Hasbro Studios wanted to move Transformers to Cartoon Network, which again, according to Kawhi Life Antonio, that was a very bad idea. I'm surprised Transformers Rescue Bots was on the lineup still because because they said it's still too cute to be to be moving somewhere else. And uh apparently now they want to come back again. I don't know if the Random RS Network Revival is going to be doing. However, they're just going to change their name from Random RS to 
to random verso RS. But that won't work well because they're easily being targeted and they're easily going to be recognized to begin with. Seriously, Random RS Network had a history of having, you know, an appropriate content on their lineup and having live action shows that they had. They weren't fitting on the network, the Famate Network. Um, Family Matters, The Way Brothers, Hanging with Mr. Cooper, The Jamie Foxx Show, Fresh Prince of Bel-Air, and some animated series for from Fox. Um, we got, we got, let's see, Duncanville, Aqua Teen Hunger Force from Adult Swim, The Simpsons, American Dad, which were not supposed to be on the main channel. It was supposed to be on Random RS at night. Let's see. Um, um, the Family Adult series created. Created by adults from Ties Reveal, L, the Midnight Club, the Nightmare. Um, let's see what else. Um, GTA Chinatown Wars was also on Random RS Network, but yeah, that doesn't even belong on there anymore because because it's be being a a dark animated series. Let's see what else. The Legend of the Randomators moved online on Random RS Never, but yeah, that doesn't also belong there. Where out? Uh, what else? Elmo's World, the adult series, at the four episodes, and then and then they just aired it as a marathon, even though even though it doesn't even fit on there because Sesame Workshop doesn't like that. Okay, let's see what else. What else? Oh wait, um. Baby Shark's Big Mature Show, um, created by Smart Study and Tizer Network Studios. Uh, that that fan-made miniseries was 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 on Random RS Network on their first season, before their second season would premiere, and so many others. Wow, Random RS Network really needs to do more better than this. I mean. Ever since the channel became abandoned, they don't want to watch the Fame channel anymore. If Random RS Network does come back, will they ever treat their shows correctly? Yeah, right. And where and if is everybody going to tune into Random RS Network? Probably not, because because it became a pedophilia channel and. Random RS Network keeps getting removed from fan-made cable providers because of the backlash from their from from the GoAnimate House reboot and GoAnimate House fans of the original series because of the reboot. They're not as what they used to be. Kind of hurts because if the GoAnimate House original was there, it really needed that that sixth season. That sixth season. We want to know. We want to know. How Africa Vulture did not, did not, didn't give up on Go Animate, and she wants to help out her her YouTube friends and such. Yeah, it yeah it should have. Yeah, it really could have. Yeah, the Go Animate House original really needed that sixth season. That, but it didn't. But they did that a spinoff. Fanmate series called the Go Animate House, the 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 anime series. But that series sadly got canceled at the one season. For that one season, it was a co-producement between between Bandai and Random RS Network and Go Animate Studios. But that series did not go so well because became because it became a a Japanese foreign. Pedophilia series. Oh boy. I just surely hope Random RS Network tries to be irrelevant still. I just sure hope Random RS Network needs to do better. And I really hope Random RS Network will return to 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 for to that way to so that way they can get another chance. I surely hope I surely hope that I surely hope that the Mouse Mall 61 isn't next. 
oh, none of my fan-made channels aren't next because who knows if they if they are doing wrongdoings. So I wish Random RS Network a happy 22nd anniversary. But unfortunately, it won't be a happy anniversary because everyone's just going to be saying unhappy anniversary to that family channel. Okay then. That that's all that's all I have. Um thanks. Bye.